Hi, it's Mary with another Mango Math Moment. Today is Monday, so we're dealing with measurement. And since we have a lot of time on our hands, we're going to talk about time. So the, one of the things that students need to learn to do is read an analog clock. And that is difficult for a lot of kids, especially when they're used to digital clocks. So in first and second grade, we're working with an analog clock. And you can play a game called uh, Miss Fox, What Time Is It? And you can get, make a clock, uh, if you have a clock at home, you can use an analog clock at home, or you can use a phone that provides an analog clock, but you can use uh, also make one out of a paper plate. But you want to set times to the nearest half hour for the kids, and you can do it as, you know, Miss Fox, what time is it? And you turn it around and they have to tell you what time is on the clock. So as they're getting into second grade, you're gonna to want to start doing to the quarter hour. And you can use a clock to under, have the kids understand fractional amounts and understanding that six is at a half mark and a three is at a quarter mark or a, um, a fourth of, a, of the time. And it's bro broken down into um, four 15 minute times. So you can do that with the um, first and second graders. For third and fourth graders, you can play a game which they can use, use regular dice. You can start by saying you're starting at noon and you can make different stops where the kids have to stop and you roll the dice and this is adding five hours and three minutes or 30 minutes onto the time. So adding five hours and 30 minutes gets them to this spot at five hours, 30 minutes. And then the next roll, they have uh, four hours and, one, and 10 minutes. So this dice each um, dot will represent 10 minutes so if they rolled a six that would re represent 60 minutes or one hour so they're going to add the four hours and 10 minutes onto this time where they're going to reach their next destination at uh what is that's not right yeah at nine hours and um, 40 minutes so it took them nine hours and 40 minutes to get to the next stop and they'll just keep rolling and you can make as many stops as you want. If you want to, you can make a little grid for them to help them understand the full hours and then the 10 minute um, time increments. Then for older kids, what would be great is to do the Iditarod race, which if they don't know anything about it is a fascinating race to learn. And they can start off at Anchorage and start moving and going along all the different stops and figuring out the time for each stop. And they can roll a 12-sided dice and a six-sided dice to get their hours and minutes. So this would be six hours and 30 minutes that it would take to get from the um, first stop of Anchorage to the stop of Willow. And so then they'll have to determine what this was. You can do 12 hours like we did at the other. And so then they got to the next stop at six hours and 30 minutes. And then keep going along until you get to the final destination in Nome. But it's a great way to explain the um, Iditarod race and have fun with time.